pooping unicorn, psycho doll, and evil Pennywise. These are the 10 most disturbing kids' toys ever. Part 5. Number 10. Pooping Unicorn. Brace yourself for this one. It's about to get interesting. We all know that kids love adventures. They like activities, and they want to have something that they can interact with. This toy is a perfect fit for that. But something about the toy just takes away the excitement. Apart from being so messed up, this toy saps out all the magic away from the unicorn. The pooping unicorn is a toy shaped like a female, with rainbow hair and a beautiful shiny horn. The first thing that's off-putting mm. about this toy is how hard it is to unbox and put it together. After unboxing the toy, you would have to wear its diaper and shirt. The diaper is a rubber thing that would require a good amount of force to get it on. Let's say you get through this section. There's also the feeding part. Kids would love this part. You have to mix its powdery solution with water and then proceed to feed the unicorn. You have to be careful doing that so that you don't spill the content on yourself. One funny thing about this is that after feeding the unicorn, you have to shake it so the food digests. And then to the pooping part. I feel this toy is more disturbing than it's messed up. Well, for starters, I don't think any kid will go through that kind of stress to see their unicorn poop. That's disgusting. So if I were a parent, I would keep this pooping plastic unicorn away from my kid. Number 9. Psycho Sally Doll What's worse than a scary doll that looks like it came from a horror movie? A scary doll with a weapon in its hand. Well, this toy takes things a little further. It has two different weapons in its two hands. Come on, why would anyone make a toy whose only intention is to hurt little kids? And if you think this doll is nothing but a static doll with no arm movement, you'd be totally wrong. This toy was designed to have movable arms, which makes it even creepier. And as you probably already guessed, these movable arms stab whatever's in its way. Was this toy made with little kids in mind? I don't think so. Whoever made this surely has an obsession with horror films and decided that a real-life creepy toy is the way to go. If you ever find this toy, it'd be in your best interest to run as fast as you can. Because who knows, it might just appear in your dreams. Number 8. 7-Inch Pennywise Oh no, it's a more disturbing version of the evil clown from IT. Even though we've seen a few disturbing Pennywise toys, none comes close to this monstrous figure. Remember the Pennywise story? He's the evil clown who doesn't mind killing and eating kids just because he feels like it. Aren't clowns supposed to be funny and entertaining? I'm guessing Pennywise didn't get the memo. Anyway, this toy even comes across with a scary balloon that he uses to lure little kids. Hold on a minute, are you sure this isn't the real version of the clown? If this is really disturbing, wait till you hear this. This toy comes with interchangeable hands and heads. Yep, it means you can design the toy to look like several versions of this clown monster. It's got one head that shows its evil grin and another that looks like an innocent clown. Whose idea was this toy? Don't you think we need to know what he or she really wanted to achieve with this toy? I'm pretty sure they weren't made for kids to play with. If you think these were scary, things are about to get even scarier. Keep watching to see what's next. Number 7. Evangeline One look at this toy and you already feel scared, even though it has a beautiful name like Evangeline. Take a look, doesn't it look like the sort of toy that haunts a family in a horror movie? Of course it does! In fact, buying this toy and bringing it to your house is kind of like an invite to be haunted by scary ghosts. Then it's broken face. Doesn't this just creep you out? For some reason, it feels like something could crawl out of it at any minute. I'd rather not have one of these in my house. Also, this toy looks like it's ready to pounce on you. With its open mouth and angry eyes, it seems like it might suddenly come alive, but not before filling your sweet night's sleep with nightmares. And did you know that this toy is based on a superstition that broken mirrors are bad? Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's enough reason to never get one of these. This toy is no doubt one of the most disturbing toys ever made. Number 6. Scary Cherubs Ever heard of cherubs? They're cute little angels with wings. But in 2015, a horror movie named Krampus changed the way we see cherubs. Instead of the cute little angels that we love so much, this movie portrayed cherubs as little demons who always want to cause trouble. As you probably guessed, the movie was all shades of disturbing. But guess what? A toy company named Weta Workshop decided it would be a great idea to make a toy out of these demonic cherubs. Bad idea? Yes, we thought the same thing. This toy is nothing but creepy, and even more disturbing that anyone would make something like this for kids. Number 5. Annabelle If you grew up watching horror movies, you'll be familiar with one of the big bad in The Conjuring, Annabelle. Now, these movies are based on events that happened in the past. There's also a real Annabelle doll that isn't the one shown in the movies. But let's take some time to look at the doll from the movies because it's the most terrifying thing you've ever seen. 
It doesn't matter how you look at the doll. Even if you know nothing about movies, there's just something dark about them. It just sits there with wide piercing eyes and a dark wide grin that makes you uncomfortable. Seeing how scary the doll is in the movies, toy makers still went ahead to make a toy version for kids. And no, they didn't make it cute and cuddly or better looking. This toy is just as grim and scary. Excuse us while we go fetch a priest. Number four, Monster Mom. Mothers are supposed to protect children, right? They're supposed to look out for them and make sure nothing bad happens to them. Well, this toy does the exact opposite. Meet Monster Mom, a toy that'll definitely give you nightmares. This toy is named Lady of the Lake, and its name is just as creepy as it looks. I mean, look at her. Her skin looks like it's peeling off, and her blood-stained cloth kind of suggests she's been doing a bit of killing. But we're kind of confused as to what exactly she is. Was she once a kind and loving mother who changed into a monster? Or is she a zombie who just wants to taste blood? Do you think this mother has eaten every single kid she had? Ugh, I feel scared just thinking about that. This toy is an action figure made by NECA, and we have no idea why they would make something like this. Rotten flesh, blood-stained cloth, scary face, dangerous fingers, please count me out of whatever this toy is getting at. Starting out, things get even scarier. Keep watching until the end. Number 3. Jill the Talking Doll Hey, it's another creepy toy on the list. At this point, we've got to ask, what's the obsession with scary dolls? Are these toy makers really hoping these toys come to life? Well, this particular one gets really close. Jill the Talking Doll is all shades of disturbing. As soon as you see this toy, you immediately realize that something is wrong. Not only does the toy look so much like a real human baby, it also talks and makes eye contact. Eye contact shouldn't be a problem, right? It's just a doll. But that's probably because you haven't seen the creepy stare of this toy. Its eyes are so cold and disturbing that it could almost rip a hole in your chest. And that's not all. This toy also has a weird ability to talk, and when it does, it moves its entire body on its own. Okay, that's it. This is one toy that should never get into your house. Number two, Mad Balls. Mad Balls, a pretty strange name for a toy, don't you think? However, as soon as you see these toys, you start to understand why the toy maker gave it such a name. Mad Balls were extremely popular during the 1980s, and it was a common toy among boys. But hey, that doesn't make it any less creepy. These toys came in the form of balls, which had the scariest designs on them. I mean, take a look at this particular one that looks like an eyeball stolen from a sick person. Another looks like the severed head of a monster, and those teeth look like they could do with some human flesh. How did little boys in the 1980s even enjoy playing with these? They're nothing but a bunch of strange and ugly figures. It's quite understandable why parents wanted the toys to be banned. This is the stuff nightmares are made of. Imagine having one of these stare right back at you in a dark room. Uh-oh, that sounds like the start of a horror movie. Number 1. Kid Robot Vibrating Plush Toys Plush toys are meant to be cute and cuddly, and we shouldn't feel scared when we bring them to our beds. In fact, they're supposed to help us sleep better. But this kid robot vibrating plush toy doesn't really know how well you sleep. It's only interested in how well it can harm you. This is Chucky, arguably one of the scariest dolls to ever appear on TV. And this toy does a terrific job of bringing it to life. Take a look at its eyes and the stitchings around it. This is the sort of guy who wouldn't mind hurting you in your sleep. And that smirk looks like he'd have a good time hurting you. And worse, it's got a bloody knife. This toy should never be given to little kids. But that's not all. This toy also vibrates, which makes it more lifelike and scarier. It's funny that this toy has the words good guys written on it. A guy with a knife and a stitched up face doesn't look like a good guy to me. Enjoyed the video? Now watch this one.